so we're wet. <laughs> we were watching the fireworks and it started torrential downpour. It was raining before hand too. We then thought it, it stopped. Good. Yeah. So we got a good spot and started got probably three quarters of the way through the fireworks show and I felt sprinkles. Oh no. Yeah. We we got overly confident. Yeah. And then it started down, just pouring. Yeah. yeah. And then everybody trying to get out of the rain at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Luckily was, we had ponchos. It's an experience for sure. For sure. One we won't forget. And so this little one is passed out. This little one is overly tired and ready to go to bed. So we're going to go back to the wagon and change into dry clothes and get on our little ferry boat. That one's full. Cool. We got to get no, a yeah, different no, one. Yeah, not that one though, because that one's full. Cool. So maybe tomorrow we'll be drier. I sure hope so. How good? So good? Is it good, Blake? Oh! Oh, look. Where's her book? Over here. They're sharing. probably um, a couple thousand RV spots and there are also cabins you can stay at um, and there are different loops within the fort so we are in probably one of the less expensive loops because we are further from like the trading post and the ferry and things like that but if you rent one of these handy dandy golf carts you don't necessarily have to worry about kind of how far you are from stuff so we just kind of cart around and drive if you do not rent a golf cart, there is a bus system throughout the fort, so it'll take you to different areas within the fort, like the swimming pool and things like that. Um, or you can take the ferry, we'll take you to Magic Kingdom, and then you can hop on the monorail from there. So um, lots of ways to get around. The golf cart is obviously the most convenient and easiest, um, but it, it is at a cost, so you do have to pay for the golf cart. Um, yeah, so we're just kind of carting around, checking things out, and I think we're just going to head to Disney Springs in a little bit.
Tri Circle D Ranch is where they have some horses. Um, and at night you can, <laughs> she's demanding to be held. We'll be right back. Anyway, as I was saying, at night um, you can do horseback or like carriage rides, so that's fun. They've got over here in this area pony rides for the kids. Um, and then what we showed you earlier was um, like a, you can rent bikes and canoes and kayaks. Um, and there's like private tours you can take, but they did have the canoes and kayaks closed today because of, what did they say? Animal sightings? Wild animals in the area. Yeah, and I said, what kind of wild animals? And she said, um, similar to the crocodile in Peter Pan. And I said, okay, great, that's enough said. <laughs> so, uh, John really wants to see a crocodile or an alligator, but also, can anybody tell us the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? In the yeah. comments. In the comments, yeah, there you go. <laughs>